If you've been grinding and searching looking for the best way to calculate your roofing sheets, in this video I've prepared an easy updated method that will save you a lot of time when estimating roofing sheets required for your house. We are going to look at two examples, one including a shed roof and another including a hip roof. Considering a shed roof of 10 meters along the length and 5 meters along the width, to get the number of roofing sheets required here, the concept is quite simple. We get the roofing area and we divide it by the effective area for a single sheet. The given information or data we have about the building is that its length is 10 meters, width is 5 meters, overhang as 0.3 meters and pitch angle as 30 degrees. The first step is to find out the roofing area. We get the roofing area by simply multiplying roofing length by roofing width. We get the roofing length by adding building length plus overhang both sides. So this will be 10 meters plus 0.3 meters plus 0.3 meters which will give us 10.6 meters. We get our roofing width using Pythagoras theorem and simple trigonometry. So this will be cos of 30 degrees is equal to 5 over roofing width, which will give us 5.77 as our roofing width. We add an overhang of 0.3 meters both sides to have our total roofing width as 6.37 meters. So now we have our roofing length as 10.6 meters, roofing width as 6.37. Therefore, roofing area will be 10.6 multiplied by 6.37 which will give us 67.522 meters squared. The next step is to find out the effective area for a single sheet. Considering a roofing sheet of 3 meters along the length and 0.9 meters along the width, this is the weather side, this is the color side, this is the overlap and this is the underlap. So when we deduct an overlap and underlap of 75 millimeters both sides along the width of the sheet, we remain with 0.75 meters. So 0.75 meters is the effective width for the sheet. We get the effective length of the sheet similarly by deducting the overlap along its length. Considering an overlap of 250 millimeters along the length of the sheet, this will be 3 meters minus 0.25 meters, which will give us 2.75 meters. We now have the effective length as 2.75 meters, effective width as 0.75 meters. Therefore, the effective area is effective length multiplied by effective width, which is 2.75 meters multiplied by 0.75 meters, which will give us 2.0625 meters squared as the effective area for a single sheet. As I've said before, number of roofing sheets required here will be roofing area divided by the effective area for a single sheet, which will be 6.522 meters squared divided by 2.0625 meters squared, which will give us 32.7. When we round off, we get 33 sheets. Therefore, our shed roof needs 33 roofing sheets. For this method too, the concept is also quite simple. We get the roof area and we divide it by the effective area for a single sheet. Considering a heap roof of this design, to get the approximate surface area, we multiply the length and the width of the house. So if the length of the house is 20 meters and the width as 4 meters, with an extension of 3 meters by 2.5 meters, we calculate the roof area for each portion of the house separately. Area of the main building with these blue dashed lines will be 20 multiplied by 4 to give us 80 meters squared and the extension will be 3 multiplied by 2.5 meters giving us 7.5 meters squared. We add these two areas to get 87.5 meters squared. We add an arbitrary value as a safety for the difference in length due to the pitch and for this case we will multiply 30% on top of the plan area so the total roof area here will be 87.5 meters squared multiplied by 30 percent and we will get 113.75 meters squared considering a single roofing sheet of 3 meters along the length and 0.9 meters along the width again here we have to deck the overlap and underlap of 75 millimeters along the width to get the effective width as 0.75 meters also have to deck 250 millimeters along the length to get its effective length as 2.75 meters Therefore, to get the effective area for a single sheet, we will simply multiply effective length for the sheet by the effective width for the sheet and this will be 2.75 meters by 0.75 meters to get the effective area for the sheet as 2.0625 meters squared. Finally here, the number of roofing sheets required will be roofing area divided by effective area for single sheet which will give us 113.75 meters squared divided by 2.0625 25 meters squared which will give us 55.15 and when we round off we get 56 roofing sheets in summary to get the number of roofing sheets required you simply get the roofing area and divide by the effective area for a single sheet i hope you get something from this video
that's the end of our today's video you know we are very dedicated to bring you the very best and easier methods of solving building and construction problems so that you as a civil engineer can stop wasting time and focus on quick accurate results so if you are building a career that's really valuable to you please consider subscribing thank you so much for watching